Handwriting is something that I feel very strongly about and some people worry about it overly but really I'd argue it's just the icing on the cake. Children do handwriting for about 15 minutes every day. It starts first of all with children mark making. Some people will get a chubby pencil, then they move on to a pencil with a pencil grip and then a fine pencil and eventually when they've got really perfect handwriting, maybe something like this. Then they come to me and they get a year three pen. But whoa, three strikes of it and you're out. So let's try to work out how we get from mark making to this beautiful handwriting. Well the first thing is, is to think about the letters. And I want you to think about letters in terms of middle sized letters, tall letters, low letters, and the T, which doesn't go really to the top of the line. Have a look at this. You might want to press pause just to have a focus and have a think. So here are the small letters and then the tall letters. Watch that T, doesn't go to the top. The low letters. And what are the tricky ones? Well, first of all, there's the baked bean. Not an O, not a zero, but a baked bean. K's are different. Here's a year one K. We quickly get onto this K to help children join. Notice the flick, and then obviously the F. This is a year two F. Joining, you see, we encourage children to join quite a lot, and I put the wrong thing on the floor, so let me just quickly. So this baked bean, I really, 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 really matters to me. And what's key is that flick there. That helps children to join to the next letter. Children then also do diagonal joins. Not flicks, join diagonally. I like my diagonal joins. We start in year one, we consolidate it into year two. Children experiment with that. Not everyone picks it up. The lessons are taught systematically. You know already that in key stage one, when children are ready, they practice on these tram lines and that gets the letters, uh, you know, the tall letters right, the middle letters in the middle and the low letters deep. But some common mistakes are these. And the key there is that all those, although these letters look right, what's crucial is how the letters are formed, yeah? So these are rainbows, um, these are upside down hills. They look right, but it's teaching the children to form those letters correctly. So joined up handwriting, I love it. But we don't join all letters. These are called the break letters. And they're called break because when you, you can join to them, but when you get to them, because your pen ends up going to the right, your pen has to come off to form the next letter. Okay? Some children think they're a little bit clever and do G's or J's or Y's like that. Mummies and daddies do that too. But the law that turns you influences that we don't do that. And this is maybe how it all looks. Pause that for a minute and have a good look. That's it all put together. You will see your T not going to the top, your tall H, a break letter, and remember, we don't join capitals. Don't join capital letters up. If you were like me, you would have been taught to write your name like that by a well-meaning dad. Please, if your child is in nursery or reception, model capitals and small letters for your child's name because that really is a good starting point. There's a lot of information there. Pause it, come back to us, ask us about more information, enjoy. Remember, handwriting is just the icing on the cake, but together we can get children using these wonderful year three pens. Mr. Iqbal has given me some advice there about year two handwriting, and that's true. He was saying that when children are writing very, very carefully, they take it slightly longer to get all of their writing correctly formed. But when you're doing that with a pen, if you write slowly, you'll see, and I'm going to pause there, you'll see that the handwriting bleed, the pen bleeds, and then you start to get, then you start to get, you start to get nasty marks, which contaminate the page on the other side. And we call that bleeding. In fact, there's a whole range of skills associated with using a pen. It's, it's, it, it, it's different, slightly different hand movement, a um, variety of different skills. Children's handwriting starts to mess up, they might make mistakes, that's a bit difficult for them. So we have this rule in the school about three strikes and you're out. So um, three 
um, you know, three big muck ups, and then we'll give you a break from a pen, and then um, we'll go back to that a little bit later on. The year two has really wanted me to talk to you about that.